The PlayStation Minis are strange creatures. They are the virtual counterparts to Xbox Live Indie Channel games in that they are cheaper, downloadable games without trophies and are, or were, developed primarily for PSP, but a majority feature compatibility with the PS3 and the Vita. The problem, beyond that lack of trophies, is their usually short-form gameplay being confined to platforms not many people play in that fashion. There's certainly a market for those looking for casual and bite-sized gameplay experiences on their PlayStation handhelds and home console, small as it may be, but I can't help but feel like a game like Orbit would be much more fit for an iOS or Android device. One of developer Laughing Jackal's other games, Hungry Giraffe, has made its way to the App Store, so it feels to me like most of its similarly styled minis would be right at home in the more accessible mobile marketplace. And what is that style you may be asking yourself, or sitting in absolute silence waiting for me to tell you? Well, Orbit can be best described as an arcade style launch simulator, best being pretty objective. The plot, really more of a loose thread connecting to simple gameplay focused arcade levels, is fairly humorous regardless and features some fairly funny and sometimes fourth wall breaking dialogue. Traveling across the planets in search of gold coins translates into eight levels, which can only be completed once the main doctor completes one lap around the giant rock in question. Space is also kind enough to provide a neat sense of progression for this game, considering each successive planet is larger in size and requiring more resources to travel across. Luckily, the doctor is provided with a better vehicle in which to travel upon landing on each planet, the final rocket being a huge step up from the initial reliance on the doctor's own arm power. The presence of an upgrade system doesn't hurt either. Each level has its set of identical upgrades available for purchase with gold found up in the planet's atmosphere. From improved engines, to larger fuel tanks, to an increased capacity of manual boosts, the upgrades are an integral part to even completing the levels, let alone retrieving the optional relics and blueprints spread throughout the planet's surface and atmosphere. The relics provide a much more significant boost to the space program's coffers, while the blueprints contribute to a structure of some kind. This added bit of optional content and potential replay value is a welcome contribution to a game controlled with one button. There's also a bit more nuance to the game than is first apparent. Asteroids, view obstructing junk and aliens, and fuel siphoning ships emphasize smarter regulation of fuel and movement. All these factors combine to make a pretty fun game, but it isn't without its case specific problems added to the points made about minis earlier. At least in its PS3 incarnation, Orbit has an apparently lower resolution, almost definitely a product of its PSP development focus. But the humor, simple yet addictive gameplay, and the charm of the game definitely override the minor problems. Orbit may be worth a small purchase, even on its relatively restricted platforms, but its quality only supports the need for it to be on a potentially more exposing device.